What's going on summoners? My name is Nathan Ng and today we're going to be diving into episode 3 of our Built Different series. In case you're not familiar with it, we use this series to break down powerful Korean builds with a fun minigame on the side. Be sure to stay tuned so you don't miss out. On your left, you'll see two bars with one indicating risk and the other carry potential. These are color coordinated to help you figure out how useful yet difficult the builds are. Let's not waste any more time and dive right into the video. Starting us off strong, we've got Jax in the top lane. Since the season started, Jax has easily maintained his title of being the best top laner in the game. Between a strong skirmish kit early on and some of the best scaling out there, Jax cannot be matched. He offers a versatile playstyle and easily embodies what it means to be a 1v9 top laner. Just make sure that you practice your basic combos a bit first. Taking a look at his powerful Korean build, you'll be taking Flash and Teleport as your summoner spells. As for your runes, make sure you take Grasp of the Undying, Demolish, Second Wind, Unflinching, Presence of Mind, and Last Stand. These runes give you a ton of lane sustain and trading power while also making you tankier as the game goes on. When it comes to your items, you'll be building Blade of the Ruined King, Defensive Boots of your choice, Iceborne Gauntlet, Black Cleaver, Wit's End, and Death Stance. With his immense power in the top lane, you'll need a bit of practice to learn how to manage and track your cooldowns. On top of this, since he only needs a small lead, you should learn how to use your damage potential so you don't set yourself behind. Regardless, Jax can easily win every lane with his build so he can snowball and carry the game. Whether you want to carry through a constant split push or commit to a team fight, he'll be sure to help you win. Moving on to our next pick, we've got Aatrox Top. This Lifesteal Darken held his spot at the top for quite some time as one of the most blindable top laners in the game. He offers a powerful laning phase, one-sided trading patterns, cool mechanics, and some of the most difficult to deal with lifesteal in the game. Trust us, there's a reason he was such a sought-after pick in competitive League of Legends. Diving into his build, be sure to take Flash and Teleport as your summoner spells. Your runes will consist of Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Tenacity, Last Stand, Second Wind, and Revitalize. These runes will help you with longer fights while also keeping you extremely healthy thanks to your bonus healing and lifesteal. Look at your items, you'll be getting Black Cleaver, Defensive Boots of your choice, Icebourne Gauntlet, Sorelda's Grudge, Death Stance, and Mob Memorius. Aatrox might be a powerful laner, but he's also difficult to learn if you want to truly use his power. You'll have to spend time learning his combos and mechanics to effectively win the laning phase. Even then, if you greed and overstep, you can easily fall behind. On the bright side, once you reach two items, you become nearly unkillable. Your team fighting is unmatched as you outsustain the enemy damage while also keeping up with them thanks to Frostfire. Before we continue on with our Korean builds, we want to remind you all to check us out at ProGuides.com. With a new $7.99 monthly subscription, you can take your gameplay to the next level with some brand new courses and bootcamp content. If courses and lessons aren't your thing, don't worry. We have challenger level coaches that are available 24-7 to help you out. As a member, you'll even get 10% coaching discount. So, what are you waiting for? Go check us out and join the ProGuides family. Nonetheless, let's not waste any more time and dive right back into the video. Pulling us into the jungle, we've got Kha'Zix. This bug-like assassin has often overtaken the meta with his various builds. Just like his champion, it seems that he's always evolving and adapting until he finds a new way to be powerful. It seems in Korea, they have once again embraced Bruiser Kha'Zix as a way for him to skirmish and assassinate. Taking a look at his build, you'll be taking Ignite and Smite as your summoner spells. For your runes, you'll be taking Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Tenacity, Last Stand, Magical Footwear, and Cosmic Insight. These runes will significantly improve your skirmish potential while also helping you stay alive with these items. Speaking of which, you're going to be building Ravenous Hydra, Defensive Boots of your choice, Mana Immune, Core Drinker, Black Cleaver, and Death Stance. As with most Mirror Mana users, be sure you pick up your tear early on. Kha'Zix overall has a really useful kit that helps him control fights. With this build, he's able to constantly harass champions and keep himself alive with his insane utility. That being said, it's also what makes him very difficult to play. Be sure you take on some time to learn his mechanics so you can truly take advantage of Kha'Zix. Once you get used to him, he can easily win v9 games due to his great skirmish and still powerful pick potential. Moving on to our next jungle pick, we've got the Prince himself. No, we're not talking about Viego, we're talking about Jarvan. This powerful Demacian has once again found his way into the meta, thanks to a few decent buffs and jungle currently favoring ganks over farming. His basic kit is not to be underestimated, as he can easily carry games through sheer pressure and damage. If you need an easy yet powerful jungler, J4 is a great choice. Diving into his build, you're going to be taking Flash and Smite as your summoner spells. As for your runes, be sure to take Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Alacrity, Last Stand, Magical Footwear, and Cosmic Insight. These runes will give you strong skirmish and team fighting power. When it comes to your items, you'll be building Ravenous Hydra, Defensive Boots, Iceborne Gauntlet, Black Cleaver, Death Stance, and Force of Nature. Jarvan is an amazing jungler to pick up due to his easy clear and unique ganks. While he may not carry as hard as damage based junglers, he's able to win games through team fights alone. Plus, his early pressure means that you'll truly never have to 1v9, since some of your allies are guaranteed to be ahead as well. Taking us in the mid lane, we've got Corky. Similar to Aatrox, when Corky is even somewhat viable, he becomes an absolute menace. His mechanics are fairly simple to learn and his package can be game-changing if timed correctly. There is a reason that pros love to pick this champion. He can easily play safe, hyperscale, and provides objective security with his massive package. 
Overall, if you need a new Kassadin after the nerfs, then don't be afraid to give Corky a try. Moving on to the build itself, be sure to take Flash and Teleport as your summoner spells. Free runes you'll be taking First Strike, Magical Footwear, Biscuit Delivery, Cosmic Insight, Taste of Blood, and Ultimate Hunter. These runes will help you take aggressive early trades while also giving you free gold so you can scale later on. Looking at your items, you'll be building Ravenous Hydra, Sorcerer's Shoes, Man Immune, Divine Sunderer, Storm Razor, and Navori Quick Blades. Make sure you pick up Terra early on so you can begin stacking it ASAP. Overall, Corky is a simple champion with a super safe early game. That being said, it can feel volatile as one kill can hyper snowball you due to your insane scaling, but one death can feel game ending. If you're able to play safe and scale, Corky is easily one of the best scaling champions in the game who can deal with both squishies and tanks alike. Plus, he's quite the team fighting monster later on. Now, before we move on to our final few Korean builds of the video, let's not forget about our favorite pro guide tradition. Today, we want to ask you all, what would your favorite champion need in order to be meta at the moment? Regardless of who it may be, make sure you discuss in the comment section below. Nonetheless, let's dive right back into the video. Pulling us back into the video with our only ADC pick, we've got Kogma. This twisted void dog works to tear his enemies into pieces thanks to his hyperscaling and mixed damage. While most Kogmas wouldn't be caught dead without a Lulu, this build ensures that you can keep yourself alive no matter what support is by your side. He's a bit difficult at first due to his high attack speed, but with some practice, you'll get used to it. Taking a look at Cog's build, you're going to be taking Flash and Ghost as your summoner spells. As for your runes, be sure to take Halo Blades, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection, Treasure Hunter, Presence of Mind, and Cut Down. These runes will give you great trading potential during the laning phase and will help you scale for free. Finally, for your items, you're going to be building Blade of the Rune King, Berserker's Greaves, Ginsu's Rage Blade, Runins, Jack Show, and Ravenous Hydra. Overall, Cog's lack of mobility makes him an easy target, but with Ghost and some great positioning, he's more than okay. Once you reach Jack Show, you become unkillable as you tear through anyone standing in your way thanks to your mixed damage. If you truly need to 1v9, he is an amazing pick to work on. Moving on to our support pick, we've got Misfortune. While she has mostly been picked for her insane power in the ADC role, the current meta heavily favors support Misfortune. Between her insane poke power and zone control, she can single-handedly win lanes and win games. The best part of it, it's pretty easy to pick up and play. Diving into her build, you're going to be wanting Flash and either Exhaust or Cleanse as your summoner spells. Exhaust is great for dealing with assassins, but Cleanse can keep you alive versus champions like Leona, Ash, Varus, and other hard CC. As for your runes, you'll be taking Arcane Comet, Manaflow Band, Transcendence, Scorch, Zombie Ward, and Treasure Hunter. These runes will help you dominate the laning phase as you whittle down the enemy's HP bar. When it comes to your items, you'll be picking up Spell Thief's Edge, Leandry's Anguish, Lucidity Boots, Man Immune, Sorella's Grudge, and Ravenous Hydra. Overall, Misfortune is a very lane dominant champion who gets her allies ahead by setting the enemy behind. A good MF will look to constantly harass without always shoving the minion wave as it can easily get you ganked or killed. That being said, out of laning phase, she is still as strong and can dominate teamfights with her ultimate. Just be sure to position carefully and safely. Before we continue on to the end of the video, climbing can be difficult and sometimes you'll need some help and someone to play with. If you want to join an amazing community of people like you that loves lists, talk pieces, and other things like this, check out our Discord using the link found in the description. So, what are you waiting for? Join us! Last but certainly not least, we've got yet another powerful combo that has shown a lot of success in Korea. Give it up for the powerful duo Sejuani Jungle and Braum Support. These two dominate the game by using their constant CC stacking and control to take over the map. Sejuani can easily clear her jungle without the fear of getting invaded, while Braum keeps his marksman safe until she shows up. Once actual fights start breaking out, these two can permanently CC a target until they're dead. While they don't deal a significant amount of damage later on, their early power more than makes up for it. Let's start by taking a look at Sejuani's build. For your summoner spells, you'll be going Flash and Smite. As for your runes, you'll be going for Aftershock, Font of Life, Conditioning, Overgrowth, Magical Footwear, and Cosmic Insight. These runes will help you stay extra tanky in the early game while also healing your team a ton with Font of Life later on. Finally, your items are going to consist of Lucidity Boots, Heart Steel, War Mogs, Thorn Mail, Demonic Embrace, and Anathema's Chains. Moving on to Braum's build, you're going to be taking Flash and either Exhaust or Ignite depending on your lane. For your runes, make sure you take Guardian, Font of Life, Second Wind, Unflinching, Biscuit Delivery, and Cosmic Insight. Just like Sejuani, these runes will help you a ton early game while also providing a massive boost to healing later on thanks to Font of Life. When it comes to your items, you're going to be building Sealed Shoulder Guards, Defensive Boots of your choice, Even Shroud, Frozen Heart, Knight's Vow, and Force of Nature. This powerful duel takes advantage of their guaranteed safety to properly set up and execute plays. When moving together, they're unmatched and can look to dive low HP targets on command. With enough lane priority, these two can walk into the enemy jungle and easily set them behind as they can kill them and take their jungle camps. Once you're out of the early game, this duo doesn't even begin to lose power. As the game goes on, they continue to provide their team with insane amounts of CC and utility. With proper CC stacking, they can constantly keep their targets stunned even through tons of tenacity. With their allies by your side, these two can easily dominate games while tilting anyone that stands in their way. 
And that sums up our video for today. Don't forget to join our ProGuys family at ProGuys.com. We offer exclusive giveaways and classes that you won't catch anywhere else, so stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys back in the next video, but don't forget, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day. Peace.